Satya Ravi Shankar, we began by getting you the inputs from the captain of the doomed Italian cruise liner Costa Concordia. He went on on camera and said that he was the last person to actually leave the ship there. But of course, evidence pointing to something else. It was last week that the Costa Concordia uh, ran aground out off the coast of uh, Italy, the Tuscan coast there. The captain now is out of jail, though he remains under house arrest. Francesco Chattino stands accused of multiple manslaughter, causing the crash and also fleeing while the passengers struggle to escape. As many as 11 bodies have been recovered so far with rescue operations which are still underway trying to get those still trapped. Perhaps there's a little glimmer of hope for them. The captain though himself denied that he deserted the ship. Proof though is emerging that he indeed fled the scene. Audio recording of the Italian Coast Guard pleading in vain for the captain to return on board has now come out. Listen in to that conversation. Now, while that proof might make his case very difficult, in an interview to an Italian television channel, the captain said that the rocks that the ship hit were not marked on his map. He claimed that he had to act quickly under pressure to ensure the safety of the passengers. Bisogna anche in un momento particolare avere il potere decisionale e, e, e capire con freddezza qual è l'alternativa migliore. Come infatti credo che quasi tutti sono stati tratti in salvo. Voi avevate 4.000 persone a bordo, più di 4.000, e siete riusciti a salvare quasi tutti. Eh, si dice che il comandante sia l'ultimo a lasciare la nave. Com'è andata, comandante? Siamo stati gli ultimi ad abbandonare la nave. Now, rescue operations continued for the fifth day after the Costa Concordia disaster. Eleven bodies have been recovered so far, while the rescuers admit that the task of finding the missile people is now getting tougher. They haven't given up hope. A lot of danger, a lot of risk for the life, of course, because the ship, you know, is, uh, it could go uh, on uh, deep, deep, uh, deeper because there is a... Uh, uh, the, this stability, the problem with the stability and everything uh, uh, is really more difficult than uh, usual. But the plan is to keep rescue, to keep looking for people. And uh, we think the same place, in same area where we found five people today is the place where it's more possibility that we can find other people. Now the owner of the ill-fated ship Costa Concordia has blamed the captain solely and entirely for this disaster. Passengers on board the ship are now planning to sue the ship owner, Costa Crozier. Now, in fact, more than 70 passengers have joined a class action suit against the owner there. Consumer Rights Association, Condacons have said, I'm going to quote them there as well, our objective is to get each passenger at least 10,000 euros compensation for material damage and also for the fear they suffered, the holidays ruined, and also the serious risks endured. The group is fairly confident that their case will be heard and action will be followed. Let's get an update now from Headlines Today's correspondent Cecile Kindria, who joins us live from Ground Zero, uh, the Giglio Islands there. Cecile, just tell us about the current situation. We understand that rescue operations are still underway. I've just arrived in the island of Giglio, and it's an amazing uh, situation here. There's a lot of rescue people, a lot of journalists. There's a few tourists who have come to see the boat. They were intrigued by what was going on in their island. And there's, of course, uh, people who live here and who are quite scandalized by the situation. But it's very chaotic, especially because of the journalists and the rescue people who are all around. There's some uh, right. um, divers coming back, then some police officers and everything. It's quite crazy. Okay, Cecil, have you been able to, you know, establish any contact with the survivors on the island there? 
There are absolutely no survivors here, I believe. I haven't seen any of them. I think when survivors are being uh, uh, taken out of the ship, they were probably carried directly to, to the mainland, probably to Rome or to the hospital. I haven't seen any of them and I don't believe there is any on the island. You know, Cecil, the other aspect of the story has to be the fear factor which has now come forth. People now very afraid of actually going on cruises given this incident. How do you think this is going to now affect the, you know, the cruise business as it were? I'd say right now there must be a problem with the cruise liner business, but this is probably temporary. People are scared. This just happened a few days ago, but things go. This thing has happened before. It will probably happen again. Hopefully not. But uh, I'd say right now there might be a bit of a downfall in the business, but it should come up pretty 